Hello everyone, this is Scott from TheAlexition.com, and today I want to be reviewing Adaware 11.5. I did an Adaware 11 review quite a way back, but it's kind of changed and has a much better, it's a much better program than it used to be, so I want to cover some of the changes. Now when you go into the Adaware 11 installation screen, you have a couple new uh, checks. You can do the threat network, which will, when it detects a piece of software, it'll send information to Adaware. Well, you can opt into this to help improve the program. You can also install it as a second line of defense, meaning it won't be on real-time protection, but it will have a secondary scanner to help protect your computer. This means, so even if you have an antivirus program, you can still install Adaware as a secondary virus scanner. So, as we can see, we're going to come over to here real quick, and we can secure my online search. I'm going to disable that. And I typically recommend keeping off sec uh, secure, uh, secure search, and I don't install the Adware Web Companion. However, it has improved greatly. It is not the same toolbar that it used to be, but it is just not something that we typically use. Now it's installing it. Adware made quite a bit of changes, not mostly to its user interface, but it's a lot more solid than it used to be and it's definitely lighter than it initially was. Let's close everything because it's probably going to bug out on me. Nope. I always typically want to redirect me to some site and then I don't know. As you can see it goes through and it says, oh it's installing the anti-spam engine and all this other stuff. And then they got testimonials on the installation page which is just saying yeah, we're wonderful, and you you will love us. I don't really see the point in it, but let's jump into the program. <laughs> As it says, it came over here completing the install. All right, they recommend you get the upgraded versions, which I'm not going to do for this time around. Now it's going to download the definitions. Definitions are again the pieces or the the defense systems for it. This will give items to the database, but I'm lazy and I don't really care. We're going to jump right into it. All right, we're going to close that. We're not going to reboot this. All right. No. Close. Okay. As you can see, we got this basic mode. We did not activate it, nor is it activated. It uses a very similar system to that of Avast, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? You, it's going to warn you if you don't have the latest uh, definitions, which we did not install. But let's just quickly go into the menu. Okay, so as we can see, we have quick scan, full scan, custom scan, and then you can do automated scan. This will allow you to set your own schedule to regular or full-time scan, and this is recommended to be on. But chances are, since I don't have my license key in, it's not going to let me do much. What you're going to do is you're, you, you'll just go in, you'll click on, and then you can edit and schedule it whenever you want. It's very similar to other programs. It's not really unique by any means. I'd say the one that probably has the best automated scan is the Bitdefender, because they will actually scan items in the background and it's not it's it's does idle scanning as opposed to scheduled scanning idle scanning means when your computer isn't doing anything that's resource intensive like you're just simply browsing the web or you've been afk for a while it'll start to scan and check files and it'll go through and keep its cache up to date that's probably the smarter way to do it automated scan is just a scheduled one but i do think the company is looking into doing an idle scan later real-time protection it's just on definition history, active virus control. You can this option uh, uh, monitors the process behavior. Install it using a heuristic. You can install it only if you bother to pay. Personal edition adds a little bit. Pro adds a little bit. Total security adds a lot more. Um, that's not really anything special. Web protection again. If you go to install, you have to get the personal, the pro. I mean, it's a very very like they don't offer you much for free which kind of makes it a very poor antivirus overall I mean the company would probably make more money this way but the fact of the matter is is it just doesn't offer much to a free user and I could just use like as I've always said 360 total security get 
a better protection score, have a better antivirus, a lighter one, arguably, and I don't have to pay a dime. Email protection, again, you kind of have to pay. Protection level, permissive, is the, this is the lowest version. It has different variations. Uh, permissive is very minimal scanning. It doesn't actually protect much from your from com incoming email, and it'll only come in through mail clients. So if you use something like Thunderbird, this may actually be handy to you, but for most people, they just go online because it's easier to manage. Unless you have a website and then you use a client to get your emails, that's probably going to be the only time you'll find this useful. Network protection is the same as the network shield that you would get in Avast. The network protection just basically if something's on your network or a worm or something tries to connect over your network. So say someone on my network has a piece of malware and it starts spreading. A worm will jump through computer to computer via the network and try to get on every computer it can. This would, in theory, intercept it or prevent it from infecting the computer because it'll monitor all incoming. Network. It's almost like a firewall, you can think of it, but it's not. It doesn't have rules or block settings. It just anything that passes through. Think of the firewall as the main line, and the network protection is in front of it. So any form will pass through it first, and if it registered as malicious, it's going to stop, and then it's going to stop it right there. The app management, you can do a security pin. Um, typically, if someone tried to do like a manual attack, which you won't really see much, like if I have someone over and they try to turn off my antivirus and set malware on my computer, that's about the only time you'd find this useful. It's also useful if some really poorly made malware tries to get on there. Uh, for instance, it's trying to go in and turn it off. The print pin may protect it. It's very similar to the self-protect module that you get in other programs like Bitdefender or 360 Total Security. It's just a weaker version of it. Um, your system notifications, gaming mode. Gaming mode is aka silent mode or it's not going to show any notifications whether it does a scan or it updates so that way your gaming time will not be interrupted. Basically any full screen um, a complete full screen it's not like tab down here it's not like a web browser but if it's full screen application running you will not get any notifications to interrupt your time whatever you're doing system reset uh, reset all the settings of the adware for antivirus to the default settings in case you've messed something up or you don't know what you're doing it'll set it back the threat work alliance is an alliance of computers who use the adware free antivirus program as long as well as the other paid versions and it is used as they say worldwide and it help collects information of the latest threats you can opt in it's like the same thing you're gonna get with every other antivirus they just kind of brought it to light with the cool name the threat work alliance the support center you can contact their support via the program instead of going to a website this is actually a very good thing you can get this in most programs so it's not really unique and the notification center is where you'll get any notification. I don't really like the user interface that much. It's clean, but it's it's just text, lots of text. And it's not like in Bitdefender or other programs when you just click on it and if you want to get text, there's some text underneath like a header. This is just text, 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 a little box, and it's just a lot of text. It's also not very, it's just, you don't get anything for being a free user. You really don't. Uh, you get real-time protection, but you don't get web, email, or network. So the three big things that come with like every other antivirus on the market, you miss out on Adware. And while Adware does have pretty decent detection scores, especially against those such as Avast, it fails in its feature department. And the reason is, LavaSoft isn't the largest antivirus company by any means. Their program lost its name after it because it didn't keep up to date. Because it used to be the legendary anti-spyware. It used to be an anti-spyware program, very similar to Spybot and um, Super Anti-Spyware. However, today it's trying to play catch up from how far behind the company was. And AdWare 11 was meant to turn it around, but 
they really just redesigned the user interface as opposed to adding any new features. It is a lot lighter than it used to be. Uh, if I go into the task manager and I view AdAware, it's using 70 megs for this and 167 for the service. It's a lot lighter than it used to be, but it's still using more than what I'd get with Bitdefender Total Security. And while it doesn't cover what 360 Total Security is, it's it doesn't offer nearly as many features. It's not blocking anything from the web. It's not doing much of anything, to be honest. It's just offering file protection, which is the standard with websites. Mine gives me everything that this doesn't for free. And it's it's hard to compete with it because it has to come up with new features and it's not a very small it's a very small team that they have. They used to be huge, they used to be big, but as it stands now the company is actually kind of fallen behind. The one thing that it does seem to have is the uh, forums. The AdWords support forums are actually very well they're very well updated. I used to be fairly active on the forums and I'm probably going to end up returning to it. Because I'm, I used to collect um, large amounts of new samples. Uh, I used to find large amounts of new samples, some malicious files, and I'd send them to them, and they would consistently update the program accordingly. I stopped doing that around when Adware 11 was released because it was kind of disappointing. Adware 11.5 has made it lighter and it's made it a better program, but it doesn't offer much for the user. So I'm not quite sure where I stand with this program. I will probably continue to help out with this antivirus as well as others but they definitely need to offer more for a free user or they're going to have some really really tough times in the coming future they also need to work on their social media strategy because they post the same stuff there every on every social network and it's like it's clearly auto posted and they don't do anything to interact with the community and nor do they try to get it 360 total security in early 2014 about summer just started their English page and by the end of the year they had over 800,000 users. They are the largest growing antivirus page that I've ever seen as far as these companies go. They've already passed others such as Bitdefender. They blew them out of the park for very minimal money. They would just do giveaways of like $20 gift cards like every few weeks. The company sits on tons of cash that they can give back to the users to inspire but Lavasaw doesn't really offer much to the users to like their page and it's just not progressing well. I mean, I don't know how far the program will go 20 this year, but I hope to see some major changes, especially with the features because it misses out on a lot of things. Sandboxing is seems to be non-existent here. Sandboxing is almost comes pre-installed with every antivirus software. It puts the program running in the sandbox away from the actual system files to protect it. Adware doesn't do that. Furthermore, you try to compare it to the big boys and it just it just misses out on more features it doesn't have sandboxing protection it doesn't have any optimization features whatsoever that you get with most programs it doesn't antivirus is not just system protection now it's system performance because they had to jump into that market too to compete with others now it's almost becoming a standard in AdWords actually missing out on the basic features that it should have included a long time ago. I'm hoping to see that it at least catches up by the end of the year to have implemented one unique feature that would that no other company has or very few have actually started. Um, sandboxing needs to be added. They need to add something new. Keylogger protection uh, webcam protection, something new needs to be added. Keylogger protection was, uh, when I did the Zamanta anti-keylogger review, I'd use that, and it was a very good, um, program. It would just simply scramble the keys, and a lot of antivirus programs protect against keyloggers, but they don't scramble your keys, which is where it helps the most, because if they can scramble the keys, even if a program gets through, if it can't read the scrambled keys, you're going to be better off. So, do I recommend Adware for antivirus? I can't really say I would right now in comparison to the competition. Despite it having a really strong antivirus, it has no features. It has nothing for a user that you would typically want or enjoy in an antivirus program. 
that and the user interface is just text it's so much text it's nothing it doesn't have a clean user interface it's just very bland and but it's just a very bland interface it has a nice color scheme but other than that it's just bland and full of text that no one wants to read people want their antivirus to protect them the most they want them to have the most features for free and they want it to be easy for them to understand and this one just fills it with a ton of text if you give this to anyone they're gonna be like if you give this to like your grandmother they're gonna sit this and they're gonna be like okay whoa 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 what they will not understand what this thing what these things are and what they're saying it's too much text for my taste the free version doesn't offer enough and even the paid version misses out on a lot of things that I would expect it to have I'm not seeing any sign of sandboxing I'm not seeing any sign of really anything that makes this thing good that makes it stand out so I don't know if you have good experience with adware by all means continue using them they have a really strong they have a really good protection score they have a really strong program but it misses out on features and it just overall is very depressing to look at in comparison to other programs which have a much cleaner and a more modern user interface i hope to see by the end of 2015 that adware will bounce back but if they don't i don't think see them at i just don't see them doing it at all if they can't do it by the end of this year so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the next video you got any questions comments concerns relating to it um, put them below and i'll try to answer them and Happy New Year's to everyone.